what is up, family? This is your girl Stephanie, aka Edini Hostu Suffolk Ba, currently here doing Zodiac Reads. We are on the sign of Pisces. So let's get into the energy. Divine forces of unconditional love, light, peace, with hope, prosperity, and everything good, lovely, and wonderful. What does our lovely Piscean family need to know for the highest good? What energy are is and lessons, teachings? Does the Pisces family have to teach the entire collective? Please bring clear and accurate messages um, that can help the collective, that can help whoever watches this video. All right, side message we have here, two of swords, okay? So is there something that you're refusing to see or that you're refusing to make a decision on? Spirit says, if there is, be confident. Make the decision. You have everything you need. You are fully equipped to do whatever you need to do to be triumphant. unfounded fear to keep you up at night you know what i'm saying you may have some anxiety this decision that you need to make um there's a decision that it needs to be made that you have this anxiety about but there's no reason for it there's absolutely no reason for it according to the cards here because we have the queen of wands we get clarity more clarity please on the queen of wands and the nine of swords we have the nine of swords clarifying uh, the Queen of Wands side, side message is the Sun card, like exactly. And you know, there's so much happiness and joy on the other side of this decision. Okay, and it ha it could have something to do with, you know, reconciling with someone. probably feel like you aren't strong enough to reconcile with this person that you know you may fall into the same trap that you did previously because I feel like they're possibly uh, you probably felt trapped in this past relationship you were uh, really addicted to this person you know but you've done you know the spiritual work that you needed to do and uh, since then and have become more grounded within yourself you know you really truly have healed that those perhaps generational curses of being attached to toxic relationships i really feel like you have you know a, you know worked on that and and have healed that and and you know how to set up those healthy boundaries yet you know you spent this is but this is new energy something that you recently have come into and you spent most of your time excuse me spent most of your time um, in toxic relationships so you kind of doubt have some doubt about yourself and confusion when it comes to love you may be afraid to to love again to invest your energy in such but spirit says move on to calmer waters you know in that you know, old talk, that toxic that old toxic cycle has um, has ended. You need to believe in yourself more. You are strong enough to stand up for yourself. You are strong enough to walk away if things get, you know, begin to get toxic again. You won't stay in 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 just just to people please that person. Like you value yourself more, whether you know it or not. You are a leader. You know, you have grown. You are strong enough. So you don't have to, you know, play the victim. You're no you're not a victim. And stop acting like you're you're comfortable. I feel like you may be comfortable in that role of being a victim and, and blaming others or, you know, feeling like you're powerless. You're not. You're not. have the ability and 
find the strength to pull yourself up out of any heartbreak or betrayal that you may walk into. Don't allow life, don't allow, you know, past situations and um, relationships that fail to, to make you jaded about life. You know, if you do, then they win. Your mind, body, and spirit is on one accord. Okay? And your ships are coming in. You know, you have truly had a major transformation. And now it's just time for you to put yourself out there to really see how strong you've become. will be successful <laughs> you know you're gonna surprise yourself at how boss you really are you are that 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 dude that woman take the leap of faith take the leap of faith and you, you'll be happy that you did you know? This could be you going back into, you know, trying something, a business opportunity or something that you've tried in the past and, and failed at. It's okay. Before, you didn't have the lessons and the wisdom that you have now. You know, you really have grown and, and have evolved. And so things are going to be different this time. They just are. Things will be different. Shakti, look at that. You have the power, power, and then we have legacy of light, bottom of the deck, which was part of the uh, Scorpio read. So take a look at that as well. There may be a message there for you. Shakti, that's that power. You know that power of the word. You are super. You are you are extremely powerful, but you are playing coy for dramatic to be dramatic or something i don't know what it is but stop this shit you know what i'm saying step into your power stop playing these games the world needs to see the real you you need to see the real you we need to grow up you know and and step in our power really walk really walk in our power it's like shakti is divine feminine fire she is the body awakened with light she is the she is the divine remember we started out with the queen of wands which is divine which is you know divine feminine fire personified you know yes this is giving the queen of wands card a new meaning for me you know she is the body awakened with light she is the divine feminine and she is the kundalini the energetic force that moves through us triggered by love that leads to enlightenment of our body with our kundalini coming alive within us we cannot remain as we once were you know it's impossible and you're not it says we may try to lead the same lives but the same be the same in our relationship patterns and perhaps even behave properly but it simply cannot be done soon our disguise slips and slips and people wonder what happened to her or what has gotten into him we are on fire with the divine and we cannot help but misbehave exactly we are no longer satisfied with trying to be the good child or fearing we are the bad child we know ourselves instead to be the divine child that child divine lives fully and with passionate fire not doing things the way they're supposed to be done perhaps but living instead from the heart like i was saying this new fire energy is new to you and you need to realize and really put yourself out there and see how powerful you are to really see how much work that you've put in and how much strength you have built you know Our body may ache as we burn through old pain. 
Sometimes the light within may seem so bright it blinds us for a moment. That could be that two of swords that was the side message before. Your light so bright is blinding you. And remember, it was clarified by the sun card, which is a bright light, right? The light, your, your bright, your healing, that this passion that is had that you're having is shining so bright, it's blinding you for a minute, you know. But that will pass, and the misbehaving will suddenly be seen for what it is. Old rules just don't fit anymore. Exactly. You don't plug a globe capable of illuminating the whole world into a bedside reading lamp without burning down the house. Best to let that light shine as it was meant to in the big arena. Shakti is making your light grow, beloved. Be prepared to shine brighter. This oracle brings you a message. You are going through energetic shifts in your subtle anatomy because your energy, body, and physical body have already begun to merge. Have already begun to merge with each other. The energetic shifts will affect your physical body too. It is always wise to consult a health practitioner, but at least some of your physical changes at the moment from aches and pains to tiredness are due to this energetic awakening. Take responsible action as you feel is necessary, such as tending to your physical well-being with health care that feels supportive. But also remember to get rest, get some time in nature, and nurture your body as it is spirit spiritually awakening to greater light. So I would definitely say take those routes first. Take the natural routes first because nine times out of ten, you, there's been plenty of stories where people have gone through an awakening. Their body has gone through an awakening and they go to the doctor and the doctors cannot diagnose that. <laughs> you know, they really, they can't. There's not really much that they can do. Um, but at the same time, there could be, there could be. You know, but I would say try, you know, um, getting more rest if you can. Um, spend definitely spending some time in nature, going outside, sitting by the water, even if it, even if it's you, um, taking a blanket and going into your back backyard and sitting on the ground, and you know, doing some yoga. If you don't have a yoga mat, just stretching, just spending five to ten to fifteen minutes at the least outside more if you can but just spending that time in nature maybe praying um on on the situation that on the aches and pains that you have praying sending energy to that area breathing into that area sending white light white healing golden light to that area of your body going to go get a massage um, or even taking a spiritual bath, running a bath, put a little salt water in there, uh, Florida water if you have it, but, you know, um, some sea salt in there, um, maybe a little vinegar if you don't have Florida water. If you have some crystals, throw some crystals in there, pray over that water, you know, put pour those intentions into that water of healing. Also, getting doing, doing a little mirror magic and um, saying whatever aches and pain, you know, while you're in front of the mirror, because the mirror just kind of doubles the energy of the, of the affirmation, you know, send for the affirmation to heal whatever is going on in your body. You come up with the wording, but say it in the mirror a hundred times if you can. And how I keep up with it, you know, I'll do this, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, and that's one. And then just keep saying it, two. And then I reverse it, five, 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 one. And then, you know, do that until, you know, you've gotten ten. That's how you know, you know, you've done it a hundred times. But look, bottom of the deck, legacy of light. It's time for you to let your light shine, Pisces. You've been hiding in the shadows. You've been, um, you know, 
pushing down those spiritual gifts because you feel like people aren't going to understand it but it's it's not about them I don't, I've unplugged this mic plugging it back up now which is too late but anyway it's not about them you are, you are connected to source and just the, the small box that the people around you um, have had you in and that they you know live in is just not cutting it anymore so you know get out there and do your thug thizzle okay you just you just gotta do you just gotta do you at this time you feel it you know stop lying to yourself about how powerful you are you have the strength that you need now and you are equipped so whether it's trying something that didn't work out in the past again do that you know whether it's you know reunited in a relationship from the past you know giving it another chance don't be afraid to because again you are the queen of motherfucking ones okay you are divine feminine fire you have that fire so if they start acting wrong or stepping out of line you're gonna get them together and if they don't get if they if they can't keep you know get you know get they shit together you know then you ain't got no problems it ain't nothing to cut that bitch off you're not that same you know person that you were before you're not simple plain (laughs) and it just is what it is you're not that victim anymore you're not believe it and do what it is that you want to whatever it is that you want to do because you got the power to stand up for yourself and to make things manifest that that mirror mirror magic saying it a hundred times in the mirror is 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 a, a good way to manifest not only healing but any other things that you want in your life use that employ that and watch how much you know more of your power you step into you know because you know you can call in what you need and you can do that already but because source God the most high just like the birds of the air he provides for them he will provide for you you know but now it's just that we have to have that faith and to know that and to walk in that And that's when we'll be able to see more clearly because there's no distractions of fear and worry and doubt. Or, you know, just denial and wanting to play small. No. Be who you came here to be. And you didn't come here to play small. You didn't come in here. You didn't come here to live by someone else's rules. You are an individual. Walk in love, light, and and integrity. Make sure you're not imposing on anyone else's free will. But let your light shine. Don't dim it to make other people feel comfortable. No. Live your life. If it challenges them or makes them insecure, that's a personal problem. That's not your burden to carry. It never was. All right, so that's what I have for you. I hope that helped in some way, shape, form, or fashion. I love you all, and until next time, peace.